Wi-Fi, aka IEE 802.11, is arguably humanity's greatest invention. Don't quote me on that. It's wild how we went from cables and dial-up modems to straight up an invisible network. How is it possible that with one click, you can doom scroll TikTok for hours? Well, it's actually pretty complicated. Wi-Fi works using radio waves. It's kind of like light. Unlike visible light, which is stunted, radio waves are long and invisible. This means they can pass through walls with ease, making them perfect for connecting devices wirelessly. So how does light make it possible to play Fortnite all day? I'm getting to that. Let's start with how your router and phone pair. When you switch on Wi-Fi, your phone searches for nearby networks. The list of networks you see is their SSIDs, which is just a fancy way of saying network names. You find Wi-Fi network named Hot Bunny 39 and decide to connect. Simple, right? Wrong. When you connect, the router assigns your phone an IP address. Think of this as your phone's special name in the network, so the router knows where to send and receive data. This is important because there might be multiple devices connected. Now you've connected, let's say you want to watch this video on YouTube. Your phone sends a request for the video, and that request is broken into small pieces called data packets. These packets are already in binary, ones and zeros. Your phone puts this binary data into radio waves by changing its length and how squiggly the wave is. It sends the signal to your router using a frequency band, like 2.4 gigahertz. This 2.4 gigahertz band is divided into channels to ensure that your bro Wi-Fi next door doesn't interfere with yours. Only one device can send data on a channel at a time, so other devices must wait their turn. So what do your router actually do? Once it receives your data packets, it forwards your request to your internet service provider, like Comcast or MTN. Your ISP connects to YouTube servers to request the video. YouTube servers processes the request and sends back the video data in binary packets. Your ISP receives this data, forwards it to your router, which sends it back to your phone. Your phone reassembles these binary packets into the original form, which, in this case, is the YouTube video. And all this happened in milliseconds. I don't really have an outro except subscribe.